Hi all, in this video let's have a look at how to create a monthly subscription workflow using Java Spring Boot and Conductor. So we have defined these as input parameters for the workflow here and the workflow begins when a user subscribes and it is implemented using a fork join task. A fork join task means you can run a number of tasks in parallel. This workflow has two forks of which the first fork includes the trial period and the actual subscription process and the second fork includes a case when a user cancels a subscription. So when a user subscribes, the workflow begins and the subscription welcome mail is sent using a simple task where you can define the email subject and content and the user email ID and the user ID will be invoked from the workflow input parameters which we provide. And then it moves to the wait period where you can configure the wait uh, according to a requirement and the, here we have configured the wait period to be 10 seconds and then again the subscription begins so again an email is sent to the user uh, using the same task definition and then the subscription moves into the billing period uh, where uh, the it is implemented using a do while task and it is looped until completion so here the again the wait for the billing period can be configured according to a requirement here we have configured for 10 seconds and when the user cancels uh, the workflow need to receive a signal on this and it is implemented using a webhook task and we have defined the input matches like this and then once a subscription is cancelled again a email is sent regarding that so that's how the workflow works now let's uh, quickly run and see how it progress so i've cloned the repo here and under application.properties file when you need to replace a key id and secret with the application you have created so i've created a test application here and generated the key id and secret and also you need to provide the explicit permissions to the required workflows and task uh, so that the application can have access to execute these uh, workflows and tasks so since we are using the playground this url remains the same however if you're locally setting up your connector server you need to provide this with your connector server url and in the case of webhook we have created a custom webhook uh, for demonstrating this workflow which is already uh, included in the spring boot project so in case if you're creating a new webhook you need to replace this url with your custom webhook url now let's run the application So yes, the application is running now and now let's uh, run the workflow. So I'm providing the input parameter user ID as user hyphen ID hyphen one. So you need to ensure that uh, you should provide this same user ID while uh, uh, sending call commands to the webhook. So let's run the workflow and you can see that the workflow is initiated. Now let's send the signal using the curl command. So yes, and if we refresh, you can see that the workflow has been completed uh, using this folks, um, which means that the user has canceled the subscription, uh, which means that we have received a signal from the webhook. And uh, consider the case uh, when the user hasn't uh, canceled. So it progresses through this fork and it will wait for 10 seconds as we have defined. So let's wait for 10 seconds. So yes, it is completed and it moves into the subscription and it will again wait for the billing period, which is again configured for 10 seconds in this example. So you can see that the workflow has been completed. So this is how the workflow works. Thank you.